I know, fella. Well, Noel. Do you hear they're doing up to Shamrock? I the seen a lorry outside it uh, during the week there. Big changes. Well. The Shamrock, they are new menu. They're going doing take away my wadji. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You bring your own water. <laughs> they'll, they'll just turn the dash. Mark will give you the dash. <laughs> it's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. Some people are doing takeaway pints. <laughs> but nobody's doing to take away my wadi. <laughs> Were you up there during the week? I wasn't. No? I'll tell you about it later. Okay, come in. They are also going to try and install some sort of anti-fong device. <laughs> <laughs> and not, not to be getting carried away, but there, there is talk... Yeah. Of them taking down the Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a big step. You know what I mean? I hope people <laughs> don't listen to this. Uh, but uh, the, the, pub, the, pub need, <clears throat> the pub need a hand. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. They're getting a the fucking bad deal. Do. The pubs are getting rode, yeah. And I'll tell you, and I said it to you, there's no point bringing back the Junior B Championship until the pubs are open. That's true. Win a match. Oh, I'll just toddle home to my darling family. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I won the South Championship, I woke up in Ross Muck with a statue of Padre Pio handcuffed to my ankle <laughs> and a naked Eddie Hobbs standing over me with a shotgun shouting, Where's the trout? <laughs> <laughs> that was a session. Eddie Hobbs. That was a session. Uh, how did you get embroiled with Eddie Hobbs? I don't know. He brought me back to his pub, right? Yeah. And I got in a row with a woman. She said, you have no hope of winning that county final. And Eddie said, she's clairvoyant. I said, I don't give a fuck if she's clairborn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win this match. In fact. That's very good. News. Yes. News here in Ireland. The government and the Green Party are going cutting back the missions. Have you heard this? No. Yeah. The big, big the, new thing now. The missions? Yeah. You sure it's not emissions? I don't know about that now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with this. I think if the priests want to go to Africa and do a bit of work, <laughs> they muff. <laughs> I, I think. You know, no, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, we need the priests here. We're not exactly spied for choice. But that wasn't what I was going to say. But yeah. <laughs> Fucking Father Joey above. He's on the computer doing mass. Yeah. Like he's your man DJ Salad. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever his name is. What did you, missions? What did you call him? No, emissions. Oh, it's gone online, is it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing what they can do now? Isn't that amazing? Jeez, you can do it online now. There's people uh, I, meeting people and finding people and uh, Dan... He's after meeting this one, Dan Bryan. Okay. And he's going doing a duet album with a woman. Right. Lovely. Amanda Ryder. <laughs> he met her online. I'd say. Uh, I can see her. This is <laughs> Do you know Amanda Ryder? No. <laughs> She's a great band with her. What is she? <laughs> uh, she have, um, on bass guitar is Willie Harding. On keyboards is Willie Moore, <laughs> and on lead guitar then is uh, Willie Burns. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, Amanda is well able for three Willies. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the game a long time, and you know they've been trying to pull a fast one on her. Yeah. But Amanda is well able to handle three Willies. But I'll tell you that. And on the drums is Buster Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> He's been with her from the start. <laughs> and they, they have a lovely, new lovely songs coming out. Um, uh, Dan Bryan and Amanda Ryder. <coughs> new duet coming out called If You're Gonna Do It, Do It On Me Back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on a great track called Bus Aaron Took My Lover. And there's a song called I Wouldn't Take Her to the Mart. <laughs> <laughs> if I could shit money, I'd shit on you. And Jeez. there's another romantic, a heartbreak song called She Got the Lift, I Got the Shaft. 
Dan Bryan and Amanda Ryder coming soon. Well, I don't know, did he? <laughs> <laughs> did Dan Ryder? <laughs> did he? What? Does the Pope shit in his hat? <laughs> <laughs> So, keep an eye out for now. More news. Yes. Another another bit of news. Japan. Mm. Japan. They eat a lot of fish, <laughs> and they can do backflips. Right? <laughs> Japan invented judo, yeah. jiu-jitsu, mm. Toyota, <laughs> Honda, Panasonic, Nintendo, and karate. Wow. I got into a row... With a, with a fellow one day in the co-op. I was fixing a, a crush for Frank Dwyer. You know a big Frank? Yeah. <laughs> Hefty Dwyer, yeah. And your man hadn't to get ready when I went in, and we ended up in a row. And it wouldn't be like me. Yeah. But he said, don't start, Anton. I know karate. And I said, well, well I know Frank Dwyer. And <laughs> if Hefty don't get that crush finished this evening, he's going to shove the arc welder so far up your hole, <laughs> you'll be toasting marshmallows while you're eating <laughs> But I have a lot of respect for Japan. <laughs> Lovely people. Lovely people. The Japanese. <laughs> Always said that. Very clean. <laughs> Very clean people, the Japanese. This is spotless. Which is why <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> the Japanese have been caught dumping rubbish. <laughs> do, do you know... The nuclear station. <laughs> and there. <laughs> Japanese, very clean people. Do you know the nuclear station? Oh, wow, wow. Do you know the, the nuclear? No, no. The nuclear, and I don't mean tip FM. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire. Fukushima. Who? Did you ever hear of Fukushima? Uh, uh, I did, yeah. What went on there? It was blown up, was it? Yes. Yeah. Well, there was an earthquake and fucking yeah. thing went haywire, yeah. And there was a, a nuclear power station and they, they were going dumping this contaminated water into the ocean. And yes. And of course, the neighbours went going fucking berserk over it. South Korea, right? They got so angry, they shaved their heads. Now, I don't understand it either. <laughs> but this week, 30 women shaved their heads outside the Japan embassy in Korea to wow. show how angry they are at Japan. Typical women, they couldn't just say it. <laughs> had to go over the top <laughs> Carmel was taking me instead of just telling me what the problem was she gave me the silent treatment oh yeah I said you're trying to play hurling with a teaspoon here girl <laughs> <laughs> she said I suppose you're happy I'm not talking to you I said does a rocking horse have a wooden willy <laughs> <laughs> does he yeah <laughs> we started out anyway <laughs> we started out anyway but Japan I said they're going to release the bad water, real slow. Oh, so it'll get washed away. <clears throat> yeah. And Korea were saying, how about you don't release it at all? And in Japan were saying, no, 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 no. Real slow. <laughs> real good. Really, really slow. You won't even notice it. Real slow. Well, there could be water there yet. The Gianni, man. Hopefully not. Yeah. I did. Lovely people. They will start it out between them. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. Do you want a bit of local news? <laughs> yeah, please. I'm dying for some. In local news, Deborah Darcy is dead. Oh, God. Uh, R.I.P. 100%. She's 100% dead? Yeah. No. <laughs> she is not coming back. Now, you know, Darcy's had the pub. Yeah. And they couldn't get the hearse in the back gate. So I went in during the week to do a bit of welding for him. Okay. To help him out. And he offered me money. And I said, Jesus, I'm not taking money. There's a woman after dying here. Yeah. And he that said. That was nice, you know. Well, he said, look, no, sure, will you have a pint? And I said, does Dolly Parton sleep on her back? <laughs> <laughs> does she? <laughs> I said so. <laughs> and young Dan Darcy said to me, you know, it is wicked the mother dying. And I don't know which of us is going to get the pub. What will we do? And I said, look, I'm not telling you our business. <laughs> but we'll have one more pint anyway. <laughs> and we'll just let your brother settle. We'll let him settle for a while. We'll have another pint here. I hadn't had a pint in about a year and yeah, a half now. Yeah, yeah, so jeez. 
And he said, just knowing you're a sound man. And I said, look, I can do for the Darcy's. And then he got a phone call from Fahey, the undertaker. He can only have six at the funeral over the COVID. And he said, Jesus, no, there's about 15 in the family. What are we going to do? And I said to him, look, Dan, I'm not telling you your business. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was me, I'd say we'll have one more pint here. <laughs> and we'll just let things settle down. <laughs> settle down. Then they got a call from Luby the gravedigger. Well. There was no room in the plot. On account of Deborah dying suddenly. Oh, God. What will we do? <laughs> and I said, yes. <laughs> I said, tough one. And I'm not going to come in here telling you your business. <laughs> but if for me, I say we'll have one more pint anyway. <laughs> and we'll just see where way things pan out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait for the next turn of events. <laughs> so... It was a good bit to be sorted at the funeral, anyhow. There was a fair few conundrums. And I wasn't telling them his business now. <laughs> but after, after about this stage, I said, well, the best course of action is probably to have another pint anyway. Yeah. And when he told me they didn't have the hymns sorted, I said, look, you might be as well have to knock it back a day. <laughs> 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 I'm not telling you your business. <laughs> I had about 10 pints in me yeah, at this stage yeah, now, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. On the house, like. <laughs> and I said to him, do you know, while you're all at the burial, I'll mind the pub in <laughs> case anyone break in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, you know, you're a sound man. <laughs> and I said, look, I'm not telling you your business, but bring the mobile phone with you. And, well, if it doesn't ring, that's me. <laughs> What? I'll be minding the pub. <laughs> well, until I got some minding. Did oh, who was in there? Only myself, sir. I was no. all, I would glue to the seat by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly get a winch to get me out next morning. <laughs> it's this way. It's fucking terrible. But uh, <laughs> Deborah Darcy is dead. Oh. 100%. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> Thanks. No problem.